hello good evening guys so in this video i'm going to uh, walk you through on how to really create a database configuration using tab orm library uh, and connecting them to your local postgres database so without further ado let's start so first at your dot env so this is your environment variables you have to define five fields so the database host port username password and the database name so uh, make sure you have all these so when you have all this information just add it as a environment variables in your dot env files uh, for my personal preference i like to put my environment variables under a config folders and um, with the names of env variables so basically here what i just did is uh, i export the variables host uh, uh, with the process.env.database host so basically the name here is basically similar with what you have declared over here so just make sure that you uh, put it here as well so after that the next step would be uh, create a data source configuration so uh, I added a D D DB folder here and the data source tab script file so basically you just need to declare the five fields that we have in the uh, environment variables and do make sure that you have to put in the database tab as well so if let's say you're using postgres then it will be postgres if mysql then it will be mysql so yep so please do check what kind of database that you are using for for my cases i'm using the postgres so now that at this step you actually already define the data source of data source uh, here which is the predefined connection configuration to uh, to your database using tab ORM so what next is you would have actually have to initialize the database connection right so now you have all the uh, configuration set up so in the next step we are going to step 3 we are initialize database connection so if you check here uh, this is when I bootstrapping up start when i starting my app i basically initialize the data source so when the data source is initialized so i check if it is initialized if it return true then i only put up my server so because basically as an express backend project uh you don't really want uh your app run without a database connection so let's get let's be honest here so we all want the database to be connected before we really want our backend to start so yep and that pretty much is it it's just three steps to actually get connected with your database so let's try it out so let's run so i'm running the ts node dev and yep if you saw here the database is connected and my server start at port 3000 yep and i hope you find this uh, tutorial is useful and I will see you on the next one. Thanks